Mary Kay Ash Miracles Happen book, The Life and Timeless Principles of the Founder of Mary Kay Inc. It's dedicated to the thousands of women who dare to step out of their comfort zones and use their God-given talents and abilities, realizing that God did not make time to make a nobody, just a somebody. So we have about 12 chapters. No, <laughs> 21 chapters. So let's do a chapter a day and we're gonna start with You Can Do It. I'd like to gratefully acknowledge the uh, contributions of three special people who provided invaluable assistance in preparing this. Okay, and the preface. I started to write a book once before, shortly after retiring from a 25-year career in direct sales. My retirement was less than a week old, and I really knew why so many obituaries include the phrase, he retired last year. In fact, I live across the street from a mortuary, and I began to wonder if I should just call him up and tell him to come on over. Building my career and caring for my family had been everything to me. I never liked those things other people seemed to enjoy for relaxation. For example, I never had time to learn how to play games like tennis, and I absolutely hated cocktail parties. To me, work and growth were the same. And without my work, I find that I had no reason to get out of bed every morning. Just after retirement, the only thing left for me to do was to think back over those active, productive years. During my career, I had faith, faced and solved many problems that are unique to women in business. Much of the time, I, I was actually handicapped or held back by outdated ideas of what a woman should and should not do when working with men. Maybe, I thought, just maybe I could use my experience to help other women over these same hurdles. That's when I decided to organize my thoughts by writing down all the lessons I had learned. When I began this exercise, I was filled with memories of opportunities denied me because I was a woman. I hoped that making a list would clear my heart of bitterness. It did. But just as important as the realization, I have compiled a list of factors that define the dream company. In this abstract company, relationships would, would be based upon the golden rule, and women would be allowed to pursue unlimited opportunities. No one would be held back by if she had the skills and determination to succeed. No one. I used the notes to begin what I intended as a management training book, but before long, I asked myself, why are, why are you theorizing about a dream company? Why don't you just start one? Mary Kay Com Cosmetics was founded on Friday, September 13, 1963. And through the ensuing decades, it has been my joy and honor to watch it grow. With the help of God and my fab both wonderful family and friends and associates, we have evolved from a little storefront company with nine saleswomen to an international family of hundreds of thousands of beauty consultants each controlling her own independent business the solutions i listed so long ago have given thousands and thousands of women the opportunity to become so much more than they ever thought they could be but i'm not stopping there nothing builds faster than a laurel rested Upon. And so we have always worked to maintain the very best products and to practice the most sophisticated management techniques available. It was with this in mind that I, we made the decision in 1968 to open ownership in Mary Kay Cosmetics Inc. to become listed on a public stock exchange. So at that time, it was an important stepping stone for us, but as the years passed, circumstances changed, we came to believe that our corporate growth would be impaired if we continue along this route. In the spring of 1985, that was quite a few years later, we decided that it would be in the best interest of our people and our customers if we got out of the stock exchange. So basing our decision on objective and independent 
than expert opinions, we made fair value offers to buy back the all outstanding public shares of Mary Kay Cosmetics and return to a family corporation. The advantages of such a move are many. Most important, we are not adversely affected as investors buy and sell in an ever fluctuating stock market. One important thing has not changed since we came off the stock market. Every consultant and director associated with us still maintains her own independent business. That's the way it has always have been. But at our corporate headquarters, we can more closely monitor and ensure those basic principles upon which our company was built. As founder and chairman emeritus of Mary Kay Cosmetics, I received quite a lot of publicity. Now when I have something to say, people seem to listen. It's not that I'm saying anything different from what I say all my life, but apparently when a person achieves some success, what he or she has to say become more important. So here I am writing this book again. I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. As often as I can, you hear me talking about the many wonderful opportunities in this world for women. And while some of my philosophy is old-fashioned, employing the golden rule, of living something we have come to call the goal gift spirit and also a yes you can philosophy which I think is very much in tune with today's women not only that but it works I want to share with you now my philosophies my inner feelings my deep disappointments and my joys you will probably notice I don't give too many dates of course I remember dates like my children's birthdays I'm a woman. And what woman isn't sentimental about those things? But if you had just a few dates and were even slightly good at aromatic, you know my age. And I never tell my age. Why should I? I believe that a woman who will tell her age will tell everything. All I tell you is I'm not as old as some people think, seem to think. I heard the rumors. The best thing I ever heard is the subject is this. If you really didn't know your exact age, how old would you say you were? I feel 24. This book is for anyone who feels young and who wishes to succeed. You see, God didn't have time to make a nobody. As a result, you can have and be anything you want. Everyone is important and necessary to God's plan. If someone else will just believe in you, you will be able to do great things. I know this because someone once believed in me. At a time when I may not have displayed much in way of experience or skill, someone believed that I could succeed. And largely because of this confidence, I did. And now let's go to chapter 1. 